What's up guys, it's Vico here. Today we're gonna to talk about how to actually set goals for your appointment setter, right? And this is an actual live training which I conduct with my appointment setter recently. And we actually set goal. And it's not just goal setting that we do, but vision and alignment. Without further ado, let's get on to it. Oh, and by the way, if you're new to this channel, make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell and leave a comment on what you think about this video. And if you watch it till the end, we're gonna give you a free bonus gift. Make sure that you actually stay tuned. See you in the next one. Well, settle down and just sit and set appointment, right? And that's me understanding the company vision, understanding your mission, and then mm -hmm. um, understanding understanding the role okay cool yep I, I want to do a little bit of an exercise i guess with you because i really again um this is to get you see the bigger picture and because if you understand this i don't have to tell like i don't have to tell you to do that little thing and, and all that stuff and because i feel like you obviously you're capable of doing that the three things we need to go over in this call the vision the mission and your role and then after that is your task. We're gonna start off with the big thing and then go into the semi big and then the small and then the small. And first of all is your vision. What do you try to be? And and we talked about this last time already, but this time I want you to write it down. Okay? Okay. So we're gonna start off with your vision. And I think you we already talked about this, you know what it means. And then we're gonna talk about your the mission, the company mission, and how that company mission aligns with your vision. Let's say you want to be an amazing mother, right? And the mm -hmm. job that you do here can help you become more of a better mother each day. That vision and that mission have to be aligned. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's like a vehicle. Mm -hmm. This is like a vehicle and this is like the destination, right? Yep. And then after that, you have to understand your role. What are you doing in that role? Because the mission in that vehicle there's more than one driver or one passenger. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And after that is the task. The task that you do to fulfill that role. And they all interconnect. If you understand the big picture, I don't need to tell you what your role is. I don't need to tell you what task to do. You will do that yourself because you understand the big picture. Mm -hmm. That's why when I first start, I've been telling, I'm micromanaging like, hey, do this, talk to them like this and watch this video. If you clear on your vision and the mission, you're going to go out and you're going to watch the video that I give you because that's aligned with what you want. And it's important that we should do this in the early, early day when you start because it's important that you understand this, right? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'll give you some example of what we do. But the company mission is this. That can't be changed. That's the, that's the whole company mission. I'm just going to make a copy here and I'm going to write a Ruby vision statement, okay? Okay. And I want you to fill that in. That is your vision. And then other thing, that's all my one, right? And then after that is your role. And then after that is your task. All right? Cool. I right, we, let, let's just briefly talk about your, your vision. What do you want to achieve in, in, in this opportunity? I think we talked about that last time, right? Yeah, yeah that's right. Well, um, at this point, yeah, I'm, I'm getting a hang of things and we have spoken about growing more into the role into the future. So basically I'm getting all the knowledge that I have to be able to be ready when the time comes that I'm ready to step up, step up to a much bigger role. Yeah, and talk about the finance as well. I want you to feel this is this Google Docs is your homework. You have to fill that in. And the reason why we can't change that, the mission is the company mission. Let's say you want to make $5,000 per month. You got to believe that to help real estate agent around Australia and New Zealand will allow you to make 5K per month. You have to believe in that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, like, you don't, yeah. you don't have to, but you have to sort of know it. You know what I mean? And what is your role? If I ask you, Ruby, like, what's your role right now to fulfill that mission and that vision? What's, what is your role? Well, my role is to uh, to be able to reach our potential clients, which are real estate agents, to be able to provide them information about uh, uh, automation with regard to getting them more appraisals, more business opportunities. I suppose it's uh, communicating with these people is yeah. my main role. All right, and that's good. So now you start to see, but also, also your, so when you said reach potential client, there's, there's a couple of ways like LinkedIn, Instagram, cold call, mm -hmm. whatever, right? 
yep. five different ways, which you only have gone through like one or two way right now, Facebook or cold call. So now that you understand your role, the tasks become more clear, right? You obviously, I don't need to tell you, go study Instagram, like, because you know that's part of your role, you know what I mean? Okay. And one of your role that I, I don't think you're quite aware of, and I don't think I communicate that well, is to ensure the closing percentage are optimal that's the word optimal and that means the task that you need to do that is to make sure that you understand the pipeline because obviously the more sell that we make the more money that you make because it's commission structure remember mm -hmm. yeah so do you know what i mean by ensuring the closing percentage are optimal and understand the pipeline do you know what that means i'm not so sure about the pipeline but when we With talk the pipeline about closing... the crm you know the stage that they at yeah so do you do, would you know like aside from so reach out to a potential client that's obviously setting appointment ensuring their the closing percentage are optimal that would be like nurturing and follow-up okay right so if you don't know what that means, I want to explain to you what, what that means because it's very important that you understand your role is that you need to understand the pipeline as a whole. Mm -hmm. So we have appointment set, no show, call one and call two, right? Yep. Cool. Mm -hmm. And even on the calendar, the smaller slot and the big slot, the big slot worth a lot bigger because they at call two stage, right? And the red, the red color, they in no show state, mm -hmm. and the blue color is just the appointment set. Sometimes they in call one, the blue color. You know what I mean? Yes. So if you want to ensure, right, the that the closing percentage are optimal, what do you need to do? What's your task? My task is to be able to follow up the clients, and uh, as as the term nurture as far as i'm concerned is to be able to um keep a, a constant um, communication with them to be able to touch base with them from time to time to ensure that we keep that relationship with them but how can you have limited time in a day how can you make sure that everyone has the right how can you make sure that your effort is con is distributed to to the right people because there's so many people yeah that's right that's why you need to understand the pipeline so how can mm -hmm. you use that knowledge by understanding the pipeline to make sure that you use your time? So the word here is optimal. How can you use your time to be optimal with people in the pipeline? Well, uh, I guess we keep in touch with them once in a while by checking the calendar, making sure, you know, like an example could be um, checking on the red ones and um, touching base with them again. So here, here, here the strategy will be understanding the pipeline, you know, the value of of the lead you know the value of the lead so if you go onto the calendar right now the big box is worth a lot more than the small box you know why because they in the further they, they in call two they up to they further in the pipeline than the call one you know what i mean yeah the call one is right here yes so to make sure that everything is optimal you want to spend your time calling the big box calling the people if you see that this big box is suddenly red, you gotta really, really make sure that you get to the bottom of that because that big box worth a lot more than the small box. Mm hmm okay. Make sense? Yeah. That's why you have to understand the weight because it's like anything in life, you only have 24 hours in a day, right? You gotta look mm -hmm. after your kid, you gotta enjoy your music, and you gotta do work. How do you know which one to do? Like, cause you, then you gotta wait. You gotta weigh and 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 give give thing like heavy and light. You know, give thing weight. So if your kid gets sick, you want to go after your kid, then come to work because your kid is more important. You know what I mean? So yeah. now it's understanding the pipeline is you able to weigh which one is important and which one is not important. Then if you can do that, you will make sure that the closing percentage are optimal because you've effectively used your time. And then when mm -hmm. you do that. That means we're able to help more real estate agents put in system in place because that's just one aspect. You know, if you do that, that means I get to talk to more people and then we get to help more people. Yeah. And then that means the mission is established. And if you do that, then the vision that you have going to take place, right? Mm -hmm. So yep. to keep it simple, as of this time recording, your two main role is to reach out to more people and to ensure that the closing retention are optimal in your power. So that mean also I, I really want to see this like maybe five or six bullet point here you know and I'm telling you in it one thing right now so maybe like waiting able to understand the weight on each one is important but you still need skill to talk to them so what are you gonna do 
and you're gonna need better script, better skill, better tonality. Mm. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna listen to more stuff, role play with more people. What are you gonna do? That's gonna be your task. So it'd be easier if you put in the task yourself, then you would know what to do because that comes from you. Yeah. Right. Yep. So you understand about the weighing, the weighing, the quality of the lead. You understand that? Mm-hmm. Yes. These guys are very close, Ruby, and you should not treat them the same as these guys. Especially not the same as the no-show one, right? But that doesn't mean you're not gonna ignore the no-show, right? So I'm gonna be linking this, and if you come up with thing that I haven't tell you, that's very impressive. I feel like this girl shouldn't be an appointment setter. She should do something more. Congrats, guy! You finished and you made it to the end. And I gonna keep my promise by showing you this amazing bonus gift, right? You are gonna get the entire scripts on what we just trained about the entire script including including our prospecting script right so you're going to get our triage call which is the script and this google docs link is going to be in the description so check out our facebook group in the description as well and there's going to be a live call example many of this call live call example around that you can just listen to but this whole training is going to be there. It's going to be script by script, word by word on how to actually conduct this triage call with real estate agent. Okay. And on top of that, if you scroll up to the very top, we're going to give you our bonus sale training free of charge. Right. So you guys can actually understand and get through the entire sale process and close like a couple of clients just by this alone. I can promise you if you put in the work, study it all, you can actually close like one or two clients by yourself. So if you actually, so here, here's the final offer. If you're actually serious about growing your business and growing your agency, I would like to offer you a free 45 minute strategy call on how we actually can do that together by now, you know, if you at a place where you're closing one or two clients right now and you want to actually scale up to 10, 20 K a month, the best time is actually to schedule a strategy call and with the link below as well to actually map that out map the roadmap map the strategy and map the execution plan together right guys thank you so much for watching this video to the end and we'll see you in the next one